Hey guys, Jeff with Condi Systems, and today I want to show you a brand new product. It's coming down the line. This is Sublimatable Grow Grain Ribbon. What we're working with today is 3 inch, and what we're going to be making are these cheer bows. These are extremely popular with the kids, and the profit margin is unbelievable. You're going to be getting $20 or more for these, and the cost is going to be about 3 bucks. So let's get started. All right, what I've done is I've got about 40, 40 yards here in my roll and I've cut off a piece that's 32 inches which gives me essentially four panels, four eight inch panels, one, two, three, four. And it's the same way my art is laid out which will allow me to hit these two center panels. So what I want to do is I want to fold this in half And I'm going to pinch it a little bit. That's my center. And I'm going to lay it down on top and I'm going to line up that center with this center right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you're getting full coverage. I'm going to get a couple pieces of heat tape. One right here. I like to do one down here in the bottom left corner. I'm going to trim this with my rotary cutter. If you don't have one of these, do yourself a favor and get one. Now I'm going to take this to the press and I'm going to heat it for 75 seconds. We get a piece of protective paper, put it on my press. I'm going to flip it over, put the transfer face down, light pressure, minute and 15 seconds. And what's great about this is that you can match any color. You can do color combos. You can do a pattern here, a pattern here, leave this blank, put a name here. What I do out at the flea market is I'll, I'll take about 20 of these for each school and I'll put the monogram on out there. Just leave it blank, slip it right in the press, put the monogram on it, 20 bucks. Um, got the idea from my customers because they come out there every week with them in their hair and it's outrageous how much these things are going for. That's it. Now you want to be careful when you take this off. Don't go pulling it, tugging on it, because it is warm and it's going to stretch. You want that tape to cool off and almost harden up. Make sure the tape is cooled off completely. And then you want to pull the tape away from the paper, not snatch the product away from the paper. Pull the tape away. Pull the tape away. And then pull it right off. Again, you don't want to pull it, stretch it. And that's our center. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the school logo on the end. I'm going to show you something you got to be real conscience of is make sure you're on the right side. You're going to flip it like that. Actually, almost messed it up. It's going to go like that. Because when you fold it, it's going to actually be the front. This will be the top. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. A little tape. And we're going to go back to the press. Another sheet of protective paper right there on the edge. That right there. It doesn't really matter if you hit it again. I have seen some fading, but not enough to be noticeable. So we'll go another 75 seconds. And the other cool thing with this is that you guys know I use a JP14. Well, that's a 12 inch wide press. You can do these on that press. Uh, you would cut it here. That's eight inches. You can print it on. I use eight and a half by 14 paper, um, but it is possible to, very possible to do these on a small press. And Aaron Knight always likes to give me static about using a hobby press for a commercial application. Well, the hobby is making money, so I guess it works out. And we're done. Again, be careful. Go pulling on it, stretching it, and then let it cool. You feel the tape getting cold. 
And then again, we're going to get all the way to the tape and pull the tape off. If not, you're going to stretch that fabric and it's going to cool and you're going to ruin it and you're going to be mad. So there's our school logo. There's the top. And you can see how this is going to come together just like that when you go to fold it. So now to finish it off, let's put a monogram on it. As you can see, I'm doing the same exact thing as I did the other side. Make sure that you're going the on the same side. You got a top and a bottom. Get this lined up, centered up. A couple more pieces of heat tape. Top. And I'm going to come back to the press and go for another 75 seconds and we'll be done. As you can see, hit the wrong side. Actually, that's the wrong side. And when you go to fold these things, that's on the back. That's trash. Another thing you may want to do is come up with a color chart, which is what I've got here, just some random colors. And you can take this and, and if you need to do a match on a, on a uniform or a school color, always good to have. Our monogram's ready. Out again, let it cool. Let's pull it off. Now, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a master of folding these, and I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways to do it, and I'm sure some of you may be already doing them. So I'll just real quick show you kind of what I'm doing with them. And that's simply taking folding one end over to that edge. This one to that edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this whole thing together with a zip tie, tie wrap. I'm going to pull down. Bring everything together and start fighting with it. It's great for people with three hands. I'm going to bring my tie wrap right through there. Leave it a little loose. Go back. Get my center. Just look for the colors. And you can play with it all day and get it just the way you want it, but that looks pretty good. So we go a little tight. There we go. Clip this off. And there you have it. And you got a bunch of different options, of course. Here's some 5 8 you can wrap around in there. You definitely, you're going to need these little ponytail holders. You can get anywhere like 100 for 5 bucks or something like that. Some people hot glue it. They'll put a little hot glue here, put this piece in. Then wrap, wrap, wrap until you come to an end. Keep hot gluing. Some people sew them. Some people sew them and hot glue them. But ultimately what you want to do is you want this to stay in there because these girls are going to be pulling these out of their hair, throwing them on the floor, all the rest of it. But that's about it. You can cut these ends with your rotary tool. Fold. I got a little 30 degree angle there. There's a bunch of different cut options on the bottom. You can go 45 degrees, 30 degrees. You can cut it straight across. That gives me my little 
cut like that. Possibilities are endless, it's up to you. Here's our finished product, both sides notched. Inside's finished off real nice with that 5 8 Ponytail holders in there real good. Got the monogram on it. Again, you can leave that off and, and just take these out for an event. Use that event's colors and uh, do the monograms on the fly. Just slip that in in the, uh, in the press. And uh, these things are selling like crazy. So I was going to show you guys what it looks like in my hair, but it didn't work out too well. So we brought in Dolly, and she's going to show you. Great colors. Again, photographs do well. Uh, schools, cheerleaders, these things are on fire. Be sure and call your account manager for more info or visit us online at www.condi.com.